Hello everyone and welcome back to Vintage Story. My name is Rakuna. And uh, isn't this a nice view? Yeah, it's a nice view in the house. Except it shows all of my flaws, like uh, not all the walls are made of plaster. But anywho, that uh, eventually when I find my limestone, I will be able to fix all of this. Now, in between episodes, oh, look at that, more babies. <laughs> that is sweet. Getting a nice little family grown there. That's pretty cool. So yeah, in between episodes, uh, I have been busy making a lot of iron plates. Now I got a grand total of 18. I will be needing 17 in order to make myself my armor, my chain body armor and the whole set, basically. Uh, so all of these will need to be uh, uh, worked on the anvil. And it's going to be a lot of work. Now, I went and I found a lot more resources around. Uh, so all of this is still soft. And I moved my ingots down here. Now, I can do a lot more um, ingots along the way here. I can make some more bismuth bronze. I got some more cassiterite inside as well. So I can make a little bit more of that tin bronze and refill my stocks. And maybe fix my old armor. Uh, we are looking at many uh, things to do. But today, I want to focus on making myself the chain armor. Now, the first thing you might have noticed is uh, over here I had my kilns at first, uh, but I quickly got rid of those because as soon as I lit them up, this started burning, and then this, and then and then the whole freaking thing. Yeah, I I had a big accident, and uh, yeah, I kind of noticed that I don't want to have my kilns here anymore. So we do have some packed dirt. Uh, not on me right now, but I was thinking of maybe putting a spot over here where I can do that. Uh, look at this guy. Yeah. So we got a couple of uh, pear tree branches. Maybe I could collect those and plant them. And I'm already being sidetracked, but uh, don't worry. I just want to do this and after that we'll get to our little armor. And yeah, I did notice that we had another one over here. Now we'll just replant those. So I picked up a little bit of firewood, but I got seven of these in which I can uh, pretty much start putting around the area. So let's just plant these little guys. I know I could have made like a special place just for them. Uh, and look at that one. Yeah, this one is young. It is growing. So yeah, some of them, they have like bit generally a 40% chance of uh, growing. And there you go. They are all planted. I got a uh, couple of them around. Hopefully more and more will grow. Anywho, let's uh, get started with our project. So let's grab our iron hammer and let's start grabbing a couple of plates. Let's uh, stick them over here and ignite the fire. I wonder how many we can stack up on there. I could put four at a time. That's good. So we just got to wait for these to heat up. Let's add a little bit more since I'm going to be needing a whole lot. So I'll see you back when all of this is uh, really nice and hot. All right. So now that they are at the temperature, I could start making my iron chain. Now I could have done this uh, from the ingots. It would have taken two ingots, but, uh, you know, hammering it out into a plate and after that, poking all the necessary holes uh, would have taken an eternity. Uh, already, this is going to be a long enough process to do 17 freaking <laughs> chain piece, uh, iron chains, uh, just like this. So, uh, yeah, I'd rather do it with the plates instead of the ingots. And that is our first one. Rick, if you don't mind, I think we need to fast forward this because I don't think people want to watch me hammer this out one by one.
And we are finally at our last piece. And there you go. We got 17. And uh, I guess this went all the way through the night. Well, I could pick up these little fellas and put them in the stack. They'll always come in handy eventually. So, yeah, it is night. I think we're going to go inside and, uh, you know, stay in the comfort of our home until morning. And in the meantime, we'll get started on our armor. I could take both my leg leather jerkin and my body leather jerkin, and then I could start making my armor. So the recipe is right over here. Let's start placing everything out. There's our chain armor, and there is our leg armor. I said, well, well that's not my leggings. Uh, <laughs> there is our leg armor. Yay! So we got the body and the leather and... What? Well, apparently I miscalculated everything. Uh, yeah. Well, anyways, let's still try this piece of armor on, and let's see what we look like. Uh, it's it's very plain. <laughs> it's very plain. And with this hat on, I look a little ridiculous. Huh? Where can I remove this freaking hat on? I gotta remember to uh, remove the fur coat. This is no longer needed. And besides that, all of this is very heavily worn, so I'm gonna have to put those away. Winter's over. I don't need those anymore. So as you can hear when I'm, wa when I'm walking... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, it has a very chainy uh, armor sound. Anywho, so we're going to need some more hematite to be able to finish our armor. And this might get on my nerve <laughs> eventually, having the sound of this armor going off. Uh, right now, the only thing is I am out of hematite. So in the meantime, I still have plants. I wanted to make myself some more pit kilns. Uh, the reason why I wanted to do some is for more molds. Right now, I can only do 12 moles at a time, but if I want to do full, you know, 2400 uh, capacity uh, crucibles, I would need to have at least twice the number. So let's prepare ourselves a little spot for our pit kilns. Okay, so that will give us our little area. So we just got to go in a checkered pattern. And we'll have ourselves all of our pit kilns available. I'm going to dig these up at the bottom as well and fill this up with uh, packed dirt and try to avoid any fire to happen. So we have it all set up here. Now, of course, the only thing I'll need now is a ceiling so rain doesn't stop it. And I'm just missing one last one. <laughs> Damn it. There you go. Maybe it can make something a little neater so it doesn't look like it's freaking floating up in the air. Anywho, so although this armor is really strong, it is going, uh, it is making my hunger rate go up like crazy to 165. Maybe the fact that I had my lantern in my other hat didn't help. Yeah, it's, it's taking me 15% above uh, normal hunger, so maybe I can put myself another armor stand. And uh, yeah, I would love to fix this one up because it is messed up. It looks really, really awful. And you know what? I think those can be stuff that go in the attic. Now, for some reason, it doesn't let me pick it up. What the freaking hell is going on here? Why? Why aren't you picking up? I can't, can't hit you or anything. Uh, is there any way to... I can kind of move them if I, like, stand right next to it. I can push it into a different location. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I would have liked to be able to pick it up, though, and move it to another room. No, I don't want you to give... No, don't take my stuff. So let's make ourselves another one. We'll just put it right next to the first one. And then we can put both our sets of armor there. Uh... Fine. Okay, just push you right next to the other one. That should work. And there you go. So at least I won't get that uh, hunger penalty while I'm doing my work here. But for now, I'll be making my molds, my raw ingot molds uh, recipe here. I want to have 12 more available. So Rick, yeah, okay, just skip to after this, okay? Well, that took pretty much the rest of the night to do, but at least it's all made. So we're going to stick it over in our pit kiln. Okay, and after that we can uh, put the grass in it and fill her up with sticks. A little dab of peat and let's set everything ablaze. 
And everything is burning nicely, and the way this is made, nothing around it should catch on fire. Now, while all of this is going on, I think it is time that I expand a little bit the area where my bees are. Give Todd a little bit more room. What do you think about that, Todd? Always such a good joy, aren't you? All right. So I wanted to go over here. Maybe it would be nice to add a little bit of dirt over here. Uh, I want this to go all the way across, and that would mean having to dig up a little bit of this area. Let's put a little bit of dirt over here. That way we can continue our fence all along this way. We'll have to remove that in the back. Nah, because the fence, the way it looks like that, it, it won't do. I'll remove the flowers that were in the way here, and there's nothing stopping me from putting it on the other side here, and it should do the trick anywho. Now what I wanted to do here is have a fence here and on the other side. So before that, Rick, a little bit of fast forward animation, let's kind of clean this up a little bit. And this way we can either go around or and uh, all of this is kind of gonna look a little bit more natural. So we're able to pretty much come here and we'll have access to our reed garden anytime. Which I uh, actually did get a little picking out of that lately and uh, it, it got me quite a bit. So before we proceed, let's open this up a little bit. And just like that. It looks a little bit more open, and uh, I'm going to be taking these lanterns back. Now we want to have a fence going over here, and another fence over here. And all of this grass, we're going to be cutting it out. Now, I thought that I picked up more flowers, but apparently that wasn't the case. So, yeah, in the meantime, we can just, like, uh, plant these back over here. And from here on, uh, let's proceed with our project gonna put some little posts all around it every two blocks so they don't kind of close off the area it'll just give me a little possibility to put a little roof and there you go looks pretty nice now after that I think that what I can do is I can actually stick those on the ceiling I'll be able to remove these uh, fences and I will have something on top there that I can use as a ceiling. Right now, all of these are ripe for the picking, but I don't want to do that. No, I want to put up some more skeps. If I am going to put some sort of a ceiling on this, uh, it's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to do that. No, no siree. I want to make this just a little tinsy wincy higher. Uh, this means I'm going to have to put blocks all around the freaking place and... Uh, and adapt and maybe over here I might put another road I don't know it's not worth making another road I don't think so and there we go and as for the ceiling I think I might want to use something a little lighter I think that would be best and for that we got birch trees so I'll chop a few up gather a couple of logs and make myself a couple of slabs so, saw them up into planks, and after that, I can simply... Wait a second, I'll just use this one first. There you go. We got ourselves a slab. And apparently, I feel like there's a storm coming. Yeah, might not be good. So, for the project that I have, it's going to be a little bit of chiseling. So, I believe I got to get the hammer and the chisel from the blacksmith. Except this hammer, I don't think it's going to be lasting all that long anymore. Oh! What the frickin' hell? Okay. Uh, where's where's that storm? Jesus Christ. You guys heard that, right? You heard that, Rick? Of course you heard that. Yes, of course. Uh, that seems dangerous and not good. Okay, I hope, I hope that nothing bad will happen here. All right, so first of all, let's make this block uh, chisel, chiselable, chis, chis, chiselable. Yeah, I got, I got it. I could talky. And let's just start removing layers. And thank you very much, Rick, for kind of skipping through that. And after that, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go in a checkered pattern. That's exactly what I'm going to do all around. And like that. There you go. Looks pretty nice. I think it looks okay. Uh, and I destroyed the freaking block underneath it. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. All right, let's stick that little sucker back in. There you go. 
And this is where the workbench mod comes in handy. Now what I could do is I could put the chisel in there. Uh, first of all, I think you gotta put it in order. Birch slab, then you go with the chisel, and then we go with the block that we need. Copy, chisel, block. All right, so after that, all we gotta do is uh, hold right click, and it's gonna be making some more of these. Now, I believe I got a whole bunch of these, so uh, Rick, just freaking fast forward through this, please. Wow. Well, I gotta say, that used up pretty much all of my chisel. <laughs> there's there's a little bit left, but at least we got a batch of 64, which I hope is gonna be enough. I didn't count the, how big that thing was, uh, but I'm kind of doubting I'll have enough. But if push comes to shove, I'll just make myself some more. Right now, I think it's time to take a little break and just snack on something. Yeah, that fills a spot. A little bit of a uh, red meat soup with turnip and cabbage. Yeah. After that, I can make myself a whole lot of skeps. I, I hope so. I just made myself an extra four. Now, luckily, I think that storm just kind of grazed us because uh, I didn't get any lightning over here. Everything's going okay. So first of all, let's put away our tools. Let's uh, set them in there. I'm going to have to make some more because the ones that I have are almost dead. Now, to begin with, I think I might do like a little uh, contour with uh, logs like this. Now, the corner ones are going to be slightly different. And what I might do is I might completely remove this corner piece and just stick some logs in there like this. And after that, just keep going around with the logs. I think this will give it a nice little look there. The only thing is I'm going to have to kind of make this merge together. Or maybe for this uh, I might have to move all of this back uh, one little block here because of the way it's ending over here. I'll have to see what I'll do with that. And now to put in our little pieces here. And I have one left, so that means I'll be uh, needing a whole other batch. But basically, that's what it'll give you. You'll have a nice little ceiling like this. And with this, I should be able to hang a couple of s additional skeps. I want to try and fill up this area as much as possible with uh, skeps. Like this. So when I walk in here, I'll be able to collect all the skeps that I need. Now, for now, these ones are all uh, harvestable, but I'll wait for them to kind of spread around. And in the meantime, I'll be making some more skeps. Now, sadly, I only have the ability to make uh, two more, so let's just place them here and here. That way, it'll help uh, make the skeps uh, populate the closer they are to the other ones. Yeah, nighttime is coming. I'm going to have to put some light in this room, though. Well, the sun is about to rise, and I've got more work done. So over here, yeah, I got my uh, my molds are finally done and I started heating up all of this excess uh, bismuth bronze ingot. Now uh, I'm going to have 18 more bars out of this. Uh, yeah, this is going to pile up pretty high. And after that, I'm going to have to do more tin bronze. Yeah, let's get those metals done. I know that there's other metals that I haven't really tampered in. The molecule blah, 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 blah. Rick, write it up, okay? It's too hard to say. Thank you. And uh, also, there is some brass that I haven't done. And maybe I should do that just a little bit. So after that, I can see what else I can do with that. So now that my crucible is ready, let's pick it up in our bare hands. And let's start making some ingots. Uh, Rick, 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 stop the fast forward. Let, let the people enjoy at least the last two sounds of me putting that nice hot liquid in the mold. Boost up the volume, will you? Oh. Yeah, it's perfect. Nice, nice. So 18 more ingots of that. We're not going to be running out anytime soon, I think. So besides that, I got some work. I made myself another chisel and I completely completed the, the ceiling here. Yeah, 
I think it's starting to look pretty nice. Now, of course, I'm going to want to fill up this area as much as possible with more scaps. And of course, I'm going to have to gather more flowers to uh, help with that. After that, we'll have ourselves all sorts of honey. And after that, it's going to open up more ingredients for super duper recipes. Now, let's go take a look at our garden and see how things are going over here. Yes. Well, we got our growing carrots that are almost ready. Onions are still getting there. Flax is going to take a little bit more time. And there will be some more projects that I'm going to want to do with the flax. Of course, I could expand on my windmill. But I'm also looking forward to making myself some better clothing as well. Now, all of the turnips seem to be ready. Except for this side. Some of them are a little slow. So we'll just wait before we collect them. And the cabbages are looking good as well. Nicely done. Now, when I did my grinding in between episodes, uh, there is something that I came across that was slightly worrying. Now, I'm going to be taking these armor pieces with me. I didn't say equip it just yet. Am I not wearing any pants? Am I, am I pantless? I think I am. Do I have any more clothing lying around? Just my regular clothes. There you go. Yeah, let's put back our regular clothing. Oh, yes, this is another thing that I totally forgot to show you. I found myself a merchant and I bought myself an echo chamber. Now, I was waiting for this to be able to, uh, you know, play it. Let's put it over here and we have one record here. So let's get it on there. I want to see what that's all about. Wow, that sounds good. Uh, anyways, do I have to stay next to it to hear it? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Ah, I don't know. Do I leave it? Do I remove it? Uh, okay, it is nice. Maybe I'll have... <laughs> Maybe I'll do an episode, a special episode of, uh, you know, Echo Chamber and all the songs or something like that. Just an exclusive. Just, just to hear the songs. And see how nice it is. So yeah, before we end the episode, I need to show you something very special. No, 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 no! Put your finger away from the mouse. Don't click next or anything like that. Don't, don't you? No, no, no! Don't you put your mouse on the X button? No, you're gonna wait. You're gonna wait, and I'm gonna show you something. I'll kind of make it go fast there, so uh, <laughs> you don't have to wait all that long. All right, Rick, skip me all the way over there. <laughs> I think while I'm here, I'm going to have to collect some uh, some of these reeds as well. Yeah. No, 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 no squirreling. All right, I'm here. Now it is the time to equip this little piece of armor because I don't know exactly know what to expect. Oh, hi. Uh, locust? Really? I wasn't here last time. Yeah, look at these guys. Where did you guys come from? You weren't here before. Uh, is it still there? Oh, crap. Uh... Oh, no, it's there. Yeah, look at that thing. It is awesome and creepy at the same time. Oh, Christ. Yeah, these are pretty much calling all sorts of enemies. And I gotta destroy that freaking thing. Oh, you bastard. And that is why I wanted to have my big armor. <laughs> Ow. Alright, let's destroy that freaking thing. Let's destroy it all. Let's destroy it all. Die! I should have equipped my ship, uh, my shield. I'm not getting it. So it is spawning in some high tier enemies, and I'm getting my butt whooped. Oh my god, get out of here. Get out of here. Too much, too much. Yep, 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 yep. Oh my god. Ah, uh, okay, okay. That was. That was rough. That was rough. And why did I come here without my Heelys? I will never know. Ugh. Yeah, so I saw that the other day, and I was totally creeped out. I was like, what the freaking hell is that? I mean, I've played this game quite a while so far. I'm like 70, 80 hours in, and this is the first time I've seen one of these things. 
So apparently this game has uh, still a lot of surprises in store for me. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have to defeat that thing. The only thing is that it's kind of hard to hit it. Maybe you guys know how to destroy them a little bit more efficiently. If you do, leave it in the comments. But I believe, oh, a heavy, storm, a heavy temporal storm is approaching. Uh, yes, I believe this is all the time that we have for today. I'm going to have to run and cower home and uh, wait for that temporal storm to approach. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to nudge that little like button. So until then, take care and stay safe. Raccoon out.